Hi, my name is James Kennedy with Eastwood Homes, and today we're going to be talking about how to fix a drywall nail pop. This is a good example of a drywall nail pop within this home. These are going to be a very common occurrence within your home within the first year and beyond. They are going to happen generally uh, when you have a lot of humidity levels within the home and you're going through the heating and cooling seasons uh, within your home. The reason these happen is when we are installing the sheetrock and uh, mudding the nails and the screws that we use to secure the sheetrock to the framing structure behind, we use a drywall mud that hardens to create a very uniform finish across this entire wall. Eventually, with the expansion and contraction of the materials due to the humidity levels and heating and cooling seasons, these screws will get a little bit of movement and it immediately pops that hard, hard mud. When this happens, it's nothing to be alarmed of, nothing's falling apart. It's something that is just, just very common within new construction and it even happens in older houses as well. Uh, so we will go into further de detail about how to fix these drywall nail pops. The tools that you'll need in order to fix the drywall nail pop within your home uh, first is going to be a Phillips head screwdriver or a hammer if you have a nail. Uh, obviously the screwdriver is for the screw. We also have a two inch uh, very flexible drywall putty knife and then we have a four inch drywall putty knife as well. Um, the, the smaller one generally be the best tool for this unless you have bigger repairs and you would use the wider one. We also have a sanding block and then we have our drywall compound. I would generally not recommend using spackling because it's just so light it, it flakes away and sands away very, very quickly. The first step to fixing the drywall nail pop is to remove any of the excess drywall material that is on top of or around the drywall nail pop. So in this instance, we're gonna take our drywall knife and remove that excess mud that's on top of the screw. There you can see the head of the screw underneath the drywall material that we removed. Then you will take the back of the drywall knife and lightly tap around the edge of the screw to make sure you have no sharp edges and everything is kind of is flat and will create a good surface for the drywall mud to adhere to. The next step is to take your screwdriver and tighten the screw where it is loose. Sometimes what can cause the nail pops is the drywall screw is not quite tight to the sheetrock material. So we will take our screwdriver and tighten the screw until it feels fairly tight. You don't want to over tighten the screw through the sheetrock, but we will tighten it so it is feels tighter than it was and then remove the screwdriver. Step three is to then apply the drywall mud over the nail pop. In this instance, you do not need a lot of drywall mud. A little bit will go a long way. We will take it and make sure you fill the nail pop so you get enough drywall material in there and then start to kind of work it around the outside of the nail pop. You will still be able to see the nail pop slightly but we want to kind of make it a little bit thick over the top because we are going to sand it down. It's okay if you see some of the uh, pull marks from where you're pulling that drywall mud there, but this is a good example of where you would leave um, and you will let this dry uh, until it is dry to the touch. And I would generally wait probably 12 hours to let this dry completely. Sometimes you can accelerate this by using a swipe fan to blow it on it to help dry it or using a heat gun to dry it even faster. For the next step, you're gonna need a sanding block or sanding paper. Generally a very fine grit sandpaper or sanding block is what you need. Um, the sanding blocks tend to be a little bit easier to handle because you can hold it in your hand and sand very easily with it. Once you've got your sanding block or sanding paper, what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand from the outside into the inside and we're always going to use circular sanding motions. If you sand up and down or side to side a lot, it will put streaks in the drywall, uh, the dried drywall compound and it won't look as good. So we're gonna go ahead and sand here, always in circular motions, kind of work our way around the outside. You'll be able to tell when the drywall starts to kind of blend into the drywall a little bit. The more drywall that you have, the more sanding will, need, will be needed. Once you get it to the point where you feel like you can see a little bit of the nail pop there, that's exactly what you want. Very smooth and consistent feel across the entire thing. At this point, it's ready for paint. 
The tools that you will need to complete the drywall nail pop and painting of the drywall nail pop will be a small paintbrush, a small roller that's a half inch nap roller to match the texture of your walls, the paint tray, and the paint. There's two ways uh, that we can paint this paint spot on the wall. One way is to pour the paint in the tray and then use the roller. You will not, you need a paintbrush that way. Um, a second way that I believe is easier is to dip the paintbrush into the paint and then we will use the roller to back roll it on the wall. Now that we have paint on our paintbrush, we're just going to glob it around the spot. No need to brush it. You actually do not want to put brush marks in this because we're gonna use the roller to give us uh, the same texture that's on the wall. So you wanna glob on some paint there. Do it a couple times, make sure you get plenty of paint on the wall. Once you get enough paint on the wall, we'll take the roller and start to roll it in. This will give you the same consistency that the rest of the wall has. You may need to do this multiple times, uh, maybe two or three times to make sure you get a good consistent finish, but this will help blend in the paint spot the best into the wall so that you don't see it going forward.